Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to do some Bowden tube um, amendments for where it goes into the extruder. Having a few problems getting um, filament in there. So we're going to try putting this little right angle on. And we're also going to try and put in one which makes the Bowden tube go into the um, extruder a bit straighter. So I'll try both of them, see which one's better. And then you can decide it, what you think. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we are guys. So the first one we'll do is the little angled one. I'll just take out that little uh, clip holder there. And the right angle one is the easiest one to do. So basically I've taken the filament out already, of course. So it's just a matter of threading the Bowden tube through the little right angle. That so comes out, push it back in. Then put that little clip back in. Oh, fiddly, isn't it? There you go. Then push that all the way down. So the bonus of this one is it also angles away from the screen, which goes on top. Let's see how that fits. Yeah, seems to do a pretty good job, eh? Sure, like that. Misses the um, top as well. Okay, so let's take that out again and try the other one. Oh, hang on. Better put some filament through to make sure it feeds properly. Now, with the filament, it's got to be cut dead straight, not on an angle, but dead straight cut. Feed it through the old um, Bowden tube. And you can see it. Make sure that's unlocked, it is. Here it comes. And I can feel it actually going in, so that's okay. Lock it. Okay, and I can't actually pull the, the filament out, so that works a bit. Had to put put a little bit of force in there to get it out. Let's pull that out. Did I get it in, I should say. So let's pull that out. Try the other method. So I'm not, I'm not sure which one that works best. Um, some guys on my um, comment section of my last video sort of mentioned that that right angle one was there, so I went and got it. Now this is a three mil um, hex key or Allen key. I'm just gonna do this top bolt here where the um, cable chain goes in. I'll do that. And drop, do you know, have you dropping bolts when the camera's on? Aren't I? <laughs> So just thread it through the part, push it in place, then put the clip in like so, and then this will spin around and actually bolts in place. So it goes over this little, this little square, yeah, square bit here where the screw goes in. So that goes over that and it push down on top of it. Now you might need to get a little knife and just make that a little bit bigger if it doesn't fit on nicely. And then just screw the top back in. They don't take long at all to do, which is good. And that's stuck in, it's going in at a straight angle now. So I'll push the filament back in. Ah, oh, bloody thing. Damn clip doesn't clip properly. But is that locked in? That's locked in. So it went in place, and then when it got to the end, it started pushing the Bowden tube out because the clip's not working very well. I might have to put a new clip in there. But pull the filament out. Oh, it's in good. Oh. <laughs> pull the filament out. That's a bit silly, on it? Okay, so let's try pushing the filament back in again. Let's just check it's working okay with, and it wasn't just a lucky one. And it's done that again, damn it. Lock it in place, 
and the filaments in. Okay, so when the filament stops, don't keep pushing it in with this one. With the, the, the right angle one, I had to keep pushing it in because it did, it's still, the problem with the right angle one is it's nothing holding it in place so it can bend with the filament tube. And then you still get the same problem where it's getting caught on the little lip inside there. But with this one, it's going straight in and it's held in place. So let's see how the lid fits on okay. See if it makes much different with the lid. I'm still moving around. It's not pulling the Bowden tube as far away. And it is, it is right angling it there. It needs something that combines both. <laughs> I might have to design one. So what would be better if this one clicked in place and just had it doing basically this coming straight out from it. What I might do is pull it into Tinkercad or Fusion 360 and just merge the two together. I think I'll do that and I'll um, post another one with how it goes. But at the moment, the better one is the one that screws in, especially um, if you don't, if you want to have it go in every time. I mean, the other one works. I don't think it, it works as well as this, but then this pulls the Bowden tube up against the lid a bit more. So I'm going to design one that has a right angle in it. Okay, so there we go. I will come back on once I've redo I'll do that today anyway back we hop now I have printed out I'm still doing my um film every time I think I've done all my filament tests for the next video for the next big video um, I think it's something else to print so I printed this and it does all the fine bridging and stuff so you can see that's all strands of filament going across and making a nice little pattern um, I found this on printables I think I think it's printables. I'll put a link down below anyway. Um, so I think this demonstrates how this was done on the Bamboo Labs. So I haven't done the um, K1 Max yet because I've been fiddling with this. So as soon as I put this back in, I'll print another one with exactly the same filament. So I'm using the same roll of filament so I get a nice, honest sort of... You can't, you know, I can't sit there and say, oh, well, that filament's crap because it had some moisture or something in it. Exactly the same filament, all done within a day of each other, um, and we can test the result properly. And now, today arrived some nylon filament, which I'm going to put through as well, and some polycarbonates, which um, I'll put through as well. So I had to wait for them to come. I had to order them in, um, and they just got delivered in the mail. So that will be them to do. Um, and that's about it. So hopefully um, that helped with the people that were asking about which one was better. Um, and I think both of them need a bit of work on them. <laughs> Either to get, it's the, the little writing ones, I think need something to just hold it in place. Um, it holds the Bowden tube better because it's, it's pulling the Bowden tube around, but it does move. The whole thing moves. So if that was to get connected in somehow, it's like the other one did, it'd be good. Anyway, um, I'm rambling on. Um, have a nice day, and I will see you probably tomorrow with my next one <laughs> with the right angle connected. Okay, see you guys.